I just want to welcome all the new subscribers that we have, but I want to make something very clear. I do not like to do rants. That's not what we do here. If you subscribe for that, I am not planning to do a lot of rants, okay? I keep it honest. If I am upset, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like something, I am going to tell you. But the purpose of this channel is for me to share the best of my knowledge, my understanding to grow with the community because I get feedback and I learn from you also. And I am trying my best to help everyone every single time. And why would somebody need help after spending $2,000 on a TV, five, $6,000 on a gaming PC or you know a new console? Why would somebody need help? <laughs> well, because I needed help. <laughs> when I got my LG C1, I was so upset that I was going to return that crap, <laughs> okay? And the reason is, I had this plasma TV, which is absolutely amazing. So this is a Panasonic Vera from 2011. And take a look at the difference of Panasonic Plasma, LG C1. Right now, I have my LG C1 with the full screen brightness max out. We are talking about almost double the full screen brightness of the LG G3, okay? We're talking about 400 nits plus full screen brightness. And look at the difference. This is a head scratcher, okay? And I showed before how my plasma TV looks brighter than the LG C1 on SDR, unless I unleash the full screen brightness. So I was very frustrated. <laughs> I spent $25 on this plasma TV, okay? So I get my brand new shiny OLED. I am expecting to be completely blown away. I am expecting to just turn this on and wow, this is amazing. And opening the HDR games and be like, wow, man, this is so fantastic. And that's not what happens, okay? What happens is that most games on HDR are messed up and you need to learn how to fix it. <laughs> it's that simple. It's not plug and play, especially on the PC. HDR is a total mess. So what I did with this channel is I start learning, start learning. And I learn from you also. <laughs> People, most of the things that I know, I learn it from you. So I share what I know so far and people tell me, hey, good information, good fe feedback. I am trying to learn. I am trying to help everyone. I'm not trying to fight anyone. I'm not interested in that. I am black belt in karate, okay? <laughs> so me fighting with people, I just don't do that. I just ignore that. I will never do a video talking bad about anyone. Okay, I do not do that. That's not what we do here. I do not like to do rants, okay? I, I am going to do it if I really feel like it. And the reason why I am so harsh with LG is because I still have some hope that they listen and they do better because I know they can. They can do better, <laughs> much better. That's why I'm so upset and try to be hard with them because they can deliver. I am 100% sure that they can deliver a perfect TV. I just, I don't know if they want to, <laughs> because why would you buy the, the you know, TV next year? They want you to you know, keep buying every single year a new TV. But yeah, that's why I'm so harsh with them, because I know they can do better. And I don't like them to you know, stop, <laughs> you know, black from insertion on 120, which is fantastic. I do not like them to lock settings, you know, to give you, race blacks on a bright room. I, I don't want that. So I am expecting improvements only. That's why I was so harsh with them. And we are yet to see that G3. So all of that is my speculation based on the information that I've been given. And I hope I am wrong big time. Okay. I'm, I hope that they actually have 120 black from insertion, that there is no black level race on a bright room and the screen looks fantastic as always it looks black 
okay? I hope that those settings are not locked. I hope that the service menu allows you to tweak, you know, to turn off that dimming, that crap, which I don't want to. So, yeah, that's why I did that video, but that's not what we do here. What I do here is try to help and share with you the best of my knowledge and understanding. So let me share with you the settings I am using on the Plasma TV, on the LG C1, and then I am going to show you how you can unleash that full screen brightness of your LG OLED. Because if you're thinking in buying a shiny, brand new and brighter TV, and you see these companies advertising you know, 2000 nits or something like that, maybe you are buying the wrong brightness. Because what they are advertising is maximum peak brightness for HDR highlights, okay? That doesn't mean brighter everywhere, okay? That doesn't mean full screen brightness. And what people like, I believe, is that that dynamic tone mapping effect, that full screen brightness, that eye searing brightness power, okay? And that's what I'm gonna show you how you can unleash. So you can see how that looks like so you can understand what you really like and you do not have to buy an LG G3 to get that brightness you can get you can get 400 plus nits full screen on an LG C1 that is more brightness than what any OLED is going to allow you out of the box okay so that option exists I do not recommend it I do not use it myself but if you want to try it do it at your own risk so I'm going to let me show you the settings I'm using on the plasma TV and the settings I am using on the OLED so on the Nvidia control panel I have limited range and the reason why I have limited range is because on this plasma TV based on my testing with white clipping patterns that allows me to increase the contrast to 91 without clipping the whites too much so just clipping it where it should be clipping but if i use full range i cannot go over 50 on the contrast otherwise i start clipping the whites so i have to use limited range in the nvidia control panel so i have so the settings contrast 91 brightness this brightness setting is like OLED light this is not the black level that's weird so most of the time brightness that's the black level but in this case it is not it's like the OLED light and the color saturation I have to lower that to 42 to match the LG C1 otherwise the plasma looks like eye candy <laughs> it looks more colorful okay and you, you might love that so and so the color temperature in normal I think that's closer to D65 but I am not an expert I do not have a colorimeter it's based on what I see and the black level in dark that is like limited on the TV so limited on the Nvidia control panel and limited on the TV and to be fair it is not to be expected that you're going to get a $25 plasma TV is gonna be this bright okay all the opposite this is this might be a golden sample it just looks amazing fantastic the black levels are uh, a crap because this plasma TV is a TCP 42 s1 it was like one thousand dollars when it released uh, back in the day so the uh, black levels are really garbage to be honest in comparison with other plasma TVs are have much better black levels so let me show you the settings I am using on the LG C1 and then I'm going to show you how to unleash the full screen brightness of the LG C1. So let me show you. Let me make sure you can see the settings on the LG C1. Let me show you. I have SDR, which I never use. I only use SDR, uh, HDR. So you see contrast 85. We can increase the contrast get a little bit more brightness but well, it's not necessary you might start clipping colors you gotta increase it like to 97 i think it's a maximum i made a video showing one day what was the maximum contrast value i would use i don't remember because i never use sdr 
but I, I just use some white clipping test patterns to determine that and also red clipping. The color red is the one that is problematic that starts clipping. So you see gamma 2.2, all in 100%, the peak brightness says high here, but that is not enough. I'm gonna show you how to get more brightness on the service menu. And again, do this at your own risk, but you can always turn it back off. You can try it and see how it looks and then turn it back off again. So let me show you clarity. I am not using black frame insertion Just off. Okay. So let me show you what we have to do on the service menu. So let me open the color control app and let me get the mouse in hand. So all we have to do here on the color control app is we go to options. We have to click in show advanced actions under the expert button. And when we do that, we get a big warning. Boom. Hey, you can read the warning. Basically it says we are not responsible for you damaging your TV. So now you can come here to LG controller expert. You click here in star. So now I'm going to move the camera to the right because there are some information that should not be seen that is personal. So then what we do, let me get the, the remote. So now what we do here is we go down to all it. And you see I have TPC off as dimming. TPC off and GSR off, that's dimming too. And this is where the power comes from. Module HDR on. So again, I do not recommend this. This will reduce the brightness on HDR, okay? This will give you more brightness for SDR. It will give you 400 nits full screen brightness on an LG C1, okay? But for HDR, it will actually make it dimmer. So you do not want to use this for HDR. And I do not recommend SDR for anything. HDR is just much, much better. So I never use this. But if you want to see it, if you want to see how that looks like and see if you like it, give it a try. And when you turn it back to normal, you see the difference doesn't seem like a lot. But when you have a full screen white, then you see the difference. And it's actually a huge difference, gigantic difference. So I would recommend it to give it a normal use HDR. I will show you how to fix the HDR mess that we have. So you can actually enjoy HDR gaming, which is much better than SDR. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions.